Welcome back to the channel. We've got a huge video for you. We're in Washington, D.C. at Trump National Golf Club. We're about to meet up with the 45th president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Uh, this is something that's been in the works for quite some time, and we're excited about it. Uh, outside of the politics and running for president, uh, Donald Trump is a powerhouse in the golf world. He has 15 plus luxury properties all around the world and we've hosted many of our charity events at these properties. And so we're excited to meet up the man, talk about you know, his rise in the golf world, but also his game. Uh, he recently was on the Break 50 series with Bryson DeChambeau and the whole world got to see it on display of how well he plays. So we're excited to catch up with him, talk a little bit of shop and have some fun. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a great That. Who would believe that? You think Joe Biden? You think Joe Biden can do that? I don't think so. All right, we're excited and honored to be here with the 45th president of the United States and soon to be 47th. Could happen. Yeah, absolutely. Stranger things have happened. <laughs> well, you're a busy man. You've been traveling all over the country campaigning, and just this week you've been in tons of states. You went down and visited our southern border. Right. So you're very, very busy. So we appreciate your time and being. That southern us. border is a dangerous place. Yeah. Wouldn't be a good place for a golf club, I can I tell you. I don't think so. Yeah, I wouldn't want to You wouldn't that. last long. <laughs> you wouldn't last long. Well, I know you do a lot of uh, interviews with the media, fake news, and talk about politics, policy. Today, I wanted to kind of do something fun and talk about something that you love and you're very passionate about, which is the game of golf. Yeah. So, does that sound good to you? Sure. So, I've read somewhere that you started picking up the game uh, around your college years, is that correct? Around college. I went to the Wharton School of Finance at Penn. And around college, uh, I started picking it up and enjoyed it pretty much. Learned it, learned how to play on some public courses in Philadelphia. Today, I don't think you could go there today. It would be a little bit tougher. Yeah. But uh, in those days, it was so safe. It was so perfect. It was like life is supposed to be, right? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Cobbs Creek and Karakong, two courses that were right next to each other. And they were, they were sort of cool. And they had a lot of good players, a lot of hustling players from the area. Yeah. And uh, I had a lot of fun with that. It was good. Was there anybody in, in your family or friends that influenced you or pushed you into the sport? Not for golf. My father, I played with him once. Uh, he didn't play golf, but he had an unbelievably good swing. I mean, if he played golf, he would have been phenomenal. Yeah. He had a great swing. I never forgot. I said, you never played? Are you kidding me? You never played? <laughs> and he was really good. He, he could have been really good. You know, one of yeah. the people that if he... But he was a worker and not a golfer. But if he played golf, I, I, I will never forget when I played with him how good a swing he had. So fast forward through your college years. I mean, the world knows Donald Trump as a real estate mogul, entrepreneur, TV personality, and obviously the president of the United States. Yeah. But you are a powerhouse in the golf industry too. You guys have nearly 20 you know, luxury properties yeah. all around the world. And we've had the pleasure to go shoot a lot of those. And the world class, you know, white glove service, red carpet experience yeah. that you expect. Uh, in 1999, you broke ground and started with your properties in West Palm Beach. What made you want to get into golf course design and, you know, the golf operations? Well, it just was an opportunity. Actually, the first one was Westchester. Okay. And I got Westchester, and then I got Palm Beach. And Westchester was a course in a great location, Briarcliff Manor, considered one of the best locations in Westchester. And it was an existing course, and it was public, and always was successful because the location's so good. You know, yeah. if you have a good location, you don't even have to have a good course. And this was just a uh, simple course, but it had a lot of land. And I said, boy, would that be good for a really luxury course. And I got it approved, got it zoned, was not easy. I would tell you, it was tough, actually, tough community to get things done. But I got it done and built it. But uh, pretty much simultaneously, I did the Palm Beach course, which has been a success. Both of them have been a success from the day I built them. Yeah. I mean, you guys have hosted tons of tournaments, major yeah. championships at a variety of courses. I mean, it's fun to hear the stories from all the GMs and the superintendents about your involvement and your eye for detail. You truly are a visionary. And 
Um, you know, what makes you feel, uh, what, what has helped you get to that point where when you see a course, the creativity that you have to, to put these designs together? Well, I've always had that. And I have that with buildings and I've had that with other things. I, I am, you know, I like to think of myself as a very creative person. A lot of people wouldn't understand that. They would say, really? I didn't know that. But I, I am. I mean, this range was almost non-existent and uh, sounds simple, a range, but it's really not simple. It's complex, especially when you have a lot of uh, things to go through with cities and towns and you know zoning and environmental and all the things you have to do yeah. but uh, yeah we've had we've had tremendous reviews on properties we're building one right now in Scotland the second one to Trump International in Aberdeen I've heard it's gonna be great uh, it is unbelievable it's just a, I, I was given the land I was I bought the land years ago and got it zoned took years to get it zoned Sean Connery was the one that got his own for me because we were five years, they're the biggest dunes, I think the biggest dunes probably in the world, and they're in Scotland, and yeah. Scotland's known for dunes, but not necessarily the biggest ones. It should have the biggest. Yeah. And these are the great dunes of Scotland, and everyone I told me you couldn't get it zoned, it would be impossible. You couldn't even walk on them, they wouldn't let you walk on them. And I got it zoned, I got it zoned for two courses, and I built the one, it was very successful, and then the other one, the zoning was running out, I had like two months to start it a year ago. I said, well, if we, you'll never get it zoned again, that I can tell you. And uh, so if I start it, we'll be fine. And if I don't start it, well, you know, you'll lose it. So we actually started it for that reason. Uh, very complicated deal. And I'll never forget, after five years, it looked like we weren't going to get it. And Sean Connery, the great actor, James Bond, the original James Bond, Bond. Who's, who's from Scotland very much. He's the king of, I call him the king of Scotland. <laughs> But he came along, and I met him a couple of times. I liked him, and he liked me. And he was watching this whole process for years go along, along. It was you know, a big environmental mess. And he said, let the bloody bloke build his golf club. Let him, but he wants to invest money in Scotland. Let him build his bloody golf course. I'll never forget it. And as soon as he said that, Everything. I got everything. Started moving. I called him. I said, you're the, most, you're the greatest zoning lawyer I've ever had. <laughs> as soon as he said that, they held a special session. They approved everything. So anyway, so they gave me a long period of time to do the second. And uh, a few months ago, we started it. And it's going to be incredible. It'll be equal. I said, let's make them. You, can, you cannot do better yeah. than that course. It's incredible. But... I said, let's make it as good as opposed to making a, you know, yeah. a poor brother. Yeah, no, I can't wait to see it. I mean, some, a lot of the properties we visited, the stories yeah. behind the start of it and the, what you've done stories. for the land. And well, just... I have great locations in Los Angeles. You know, I have 600 acres on the ocean. Yeah. And I don't need it because we never advertise because it's always full. I think it gets the most per round. It's uh, a daily fee or public course. Yeah. You can't take them actually private along the ocean over there. That's why Pebble Beach is, you know, it's basically it's well. a public yeah. course. But, uh, and I, I think I'd rather not actually. I like it the way it is, but it does tremendous business. But that, that course is unbelievable. We have a little ad that we would have used. I have the ocean, Pebble Beach has the bay. Okay, <laughs> which is true. Yeah, I have the ocean. I think you've got an ocean view on all 18. No, no, I'm, I'm on the ocean. Yeah. I mean, that's, this is on the ocean. Yeah for a tremendous span. I mean, every hole, every hole is on the ocean. Yeah. But I say, I have the ocean, Pebble Beach has the bay. But so far I've never advertised because you, you, don't, don't, need to. you don't need to. You are getting high tea times there, You're people, getting, and the demand is there, so. That's true. Yeah. So changing gears to you personally playing, you know, on the internet, you know as well as anybody, there's a lot of haters. I call them keyboard warriors. Right, right. And a lot of people have things to say about your game. Well, recently you kind of put a full, full display playing with Bryson DeChambeau yeah, on the break good. 50. Yeah, we shot 50. Shot the number. From the woman's tees. Yeah. No, it's, it's nice it's... when you have a guy can drive greens, you know. It's... Well, he's not, he's, I think someone shot 50 with him one other time. So yeah, and... No, it's the, it's the best score they've had, 50. We shot a 50. Uh, I mean, Sergio shot 56. I think Sergio is such a good guy. He is. I said, Sergio, come on, give me a break, right? <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's hard to do. You need uh, 15 birdies and five eagles yeah. to break it. Part threes are what's tough. And the hard ones are part threes. Because yeah. even if you're, you know, you're playing for the wounds here, but even if you're 150, 160 yards, you got to put it, yeah, you yeah. know, you got to make a birdie, and, and it's not that easy. Well, I mean, you were hitting every fairway. You were chipping, making putts yeah. left and right. So I mean, a couple holes, Bryson didn't even need to do anything. So. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I had a couple. And, and, I mean, look, 
Let's never under, underestimate Bryson. He played, he played great. He's a great putter, too. You know, people don't know about Bryson. He's number one. He's a fantastic guy, but he can really putt. Yeah. And a lot of people talk about his distance, and he's the longest on the tour. Yeah. I know him all. I mean, I know the guys. He's actually the longest, and, uh, and he's very straight. Hits it great, but he, he is a fantastic putter. Yeah, uh, He's a great player. I mean, if it weren't for the live golf stuff with the r world ranking points, I mean, he'd oh, be yeah, right there near be, the top. Oh, he should be there, but he made the right deal. They're all happy on live. They very interesting. Well, they've, they've got unlimited funding. <laughs> they do. That I can tell you. <laughs> Even the guys that want to play with the tour, they come to Saudi for the money. They you know, like, and they're definitely so shaking stuff uh, up for sure. And they've done some really great things, you know, like music. You never had music today. Like 70% of the people, they're playing music on the course. Yeah. And once you get used to that, it's hard to play without it. Yeah. You know, it gives a little life and excitement. They've done a lot of good things, and they're fantastic people. Yeah. And they're very happy. The yeah. live golfers are very, very happy. Yeah. No, it's, it's fun to go to those events. We had a good time down at Doral yeah. during the tournament this last year in the team championship. So. And, and, you know, you had... Uh, Bryson Wynn yeah. recently, the U.S. Open, with a great shot and a great putt. Yeah. People don't talk about the four-foot putt that he hit. Yeah, that would have been nerve-wracking. <laughs> that would be, he just walked up and hit it. Let me tell you, that was, uh, that was a great shot, though. Yeah. I said, if he makes that putt, which he will, but if he makes that putt, that'll go down as one of the top five shots ever hit. Yeah. You have to. He won the U.S. Open yeah. with a... 60-yard sand shot, that's a hard shot. I think most people say that's the, the shot they fear the most is those long sand shots. Well, it's the thing, they don't even practice them very much yeah. because you, it's a very hard shot to figure. So, But he hit a knuckle ball out of there and the thing just was perfect. Yeah, ice in the veins. Yep. So. He does, he, he does have that. So it, you have quite a few hole-in-ones. What's that number at now? Uh, eight. Eight. I have eight. Let's That's, see. Eight. Most people go their whole life without making one. So well, it's strange, yeah, but I've had people with more. Um, they say Art Wall has 48, oh my but they say Ben Hogan had none. Can you believe that? Yeah, that's That's because he hit it so good, it just <laughs> went stuff. It didn't move. But just, they say he had none. I don't know. It's hard to believe, actually. Is there one of those eight that stand out to you as your favorite? Well, one, the last one I made was with Ernie Els, and I okay. had Gene Sowers and Ernie Els and Ken Duke. Well, that's and, good company uh, to be in to do that. We had some really good golfers in the group. I think we were playing a five some actually. And Ernie, uh, on the sixth hole, I had a par five. That's uh, a par three. Yep. That was 188 yards. There was a little wind in the face, a little bit. And I hit a five iron. And it took one bounce and one in the hole. <laughs> And Ernie said, nice shot. He was my partner. It was, we, uh, we had a good, a good partnership going. And uh, I was great. I mean, it was, you know, you're playing with old tour players and yeah. you make a hole in one that's pretty cool. That's and, pretty cool. And Ernie's so good. Gene Sowers won the U.S. Open a few years ago, you know, senior. Yeah. Ken Duke is, great guy is too. fantastic. And we, have another, we had another guy in that group who's a friend of mine who's a fantastic player too, a pro. And uh, we had a good time, but... Uh, that was one of the nice, you know, it's yeah. nice to make a hole-in-one when you're playing with some guys where it matters, where, yeah, they, absolutely. where they can actually say a oh, good shot, because they don't say it too often. I've made they one, a lot of good and it was at West Palm. At, I hosted a tournament oh, really? there, and it was a uh, hole four, I think. Is, is it four? Yeah. 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 And uh, it was on my birthday week, and I was hosting the tournament, and it went in. I didn't see it, but my caddy was up on the cooler and saw it go in, and wow. I was in disbelief. But uh, So what's your handicap? I'm a five. That's good. Yeah, so I'm getting there. Let so. me hit some shots. I got to play. So do you want to do some more someplace else? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, let's so. do a little yeah, bit. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks, fellas. All right, watch this. You wouldn't believe this. Look at that. Who would believe that? <laughs> you think Joe Biden? You think Joe Biden can do that? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Joe, remember he challenged me. Well, that's what we were hoping for. Was the second debate would be a golf match? And well, I, I said I'll do it. I offered him a million dollars. <laughs> he said he's a six. Yeah. I said you're not a sixty. 
He's not a 60. Yeah. So I said, I'll give you a million dollars if you can break a hundred. I said, here. Yeah. I said, a million, a million if you can break a hundred. Now a six can break a hundred easy. <laughs> you right? think so, right? But he can't. Do you remember the match with Stephen Ames and Tiger Woods? Oh, that was terrible. I think that's pretty much how it would go down. Ten and eight, Trump. <laughs> that was not and Stephen Ames a good player. It was He's a good player, yeah. We got a little sassy that's all. That yeah, was, you talk to a tiger like that, it's can't do it. He went in a different mode. That was a bad match. <laughs> okay, I, I do you think they're impressed now? I don't have to show anymore, right? How's this swing look? Pretty good? It looks good. Pretty you good. Look dialed. You look dialed. Pretty good. People say, <laughs> With the handicap down well, too. You know, your short game has really, tightened up a lot. My short game's good. Um, I mean, it's so low. I, honestly, I don't like saying because people wouldn't believe it because I'm at an age where I should be losing it and I haven't. <laughs> I've been able to play. I believe I'm a better player now than I was 25 years ago. Yeah. Isn't it crazy? That You've heard crazy. that. And. I mean, I just won the club championship at in Palm Beach, yeah. where we have 21 scratch players. A bunch of great players. I won the seniors, and I played so well in the seniors, I said, might as well play in the regular. And I beat kids that, that are, you know, very good players. Yeah. We have 21 scratch players, scratch or better. And I won, so, you know, you can't do that easily. Yeah. And a lot of people can't play in club championships. I know guys in club championships, they can't play. You play with them, they're scratch players. I say, are you gonna play in the club championships? No, uh, I'll be away. <laughs> what do you mean you'll be away? I'll be away, sir. I'm making a trip, I can't change it. <laughs> because they can't play. Yeah. Do you understand that? The pressure, yeah. The club championship is our major. Yeah. And they can't handle the pressure. He said, I stand over a three foot putt, I can't even see the hole, yeah. the guy. About himself. And I said, that's too bad. But he, uh, but they're, they're squ like scratch players, pretty close to scratch yeah. players. I have one guy, he's better than a scratch player, but he can't, he can never even qualify. Yeah. We got Jack Nicholas with the 18 majors. You're at 30 plus club championships Jack, there. Yeah. So you're right there on that level. Jack is great. He's amazing. Jack is great. Gary Player, <laughs> Lee Trevino, those old guys. You know, the pictures of the older guys from my clubhouses, they like it the best. Ben Hogan, they yeah. love Ben Hogan. They love Sam Snead, the great Sam Snead. Yeah. Uh, my jacket's fantastic. He was such a killer. Yeah. I mean, he was just brutal. Oh, he, would, he would win. And, you know, when the pressure goes, you see people choking, coming down the line. He got better. You know, he's one of the few. You get better. Some of them get Gary Player. Yeah. He won 168 tournaments. He won, I guess, 18, something like yeah, nine and that nine. That guy's right? got unlimited energy still at his he's age today. Unbelievable. unbelievable. So I've been playing with him since he's seven, 70, and now he's like 88. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen him miss a shot. No, he's on. He's Gary's on. unbelievable. Those guys are just great, and they're they're a lot of fun to be with. So, with all the trophies you've uh, accumulated over the years, is there like a man cave at Mar-a-Lago where there's, they're all on display? Well, my wife hates it when I come home because I come home with so many trophies, and she says, <laughs> "Not another one." So usually I'm forced to take some out, and I put them around the clubhouses. But we have a lot of trophies, a lot of. A lot of club championships and member guests, you know, you play, but that's not pressure. Yeah. A member guest isn't pressure. You know, you play with four or five people and yeah. a pro. Yeah. And there's no pressure there. You're all hitting a best ball. That's that's not what I mean. The club championships are pressure. Yeah. yeah. It's a whole I mean, I'm not talking about with strokes either. You know, you have some of these things where they have A flight, B flight. I don't I don't even really do that with yeah. with uh, my clubs. Because it doesn't mean anything. You get a guy who has too many strokes and you know, you can't do it. But the, the club championship, the real club championship is big pressure for a lot of people. Really good golfers don't play in them because they don't want to be embarrassed. You know, yeah. your name is up and they don't want to, you know, got, ride along that you shot 91. They've got what I call a vanity handicap. Well, sometimes they, they're, they're the right. I, I mean, I've played with many guys at a scratch, but they'll never win a club championship. Yeah. It's just funny. It's just, uh, it's like... It's our major, mm -hmm. and they can't play under that. And then you have some that can. I, I have guys that aren't that good that do well in club championships. You know, it's a different, it's a mentality. Yeah. It's in right there. It's yeah. a big part of golf, right? Yeah, between the years. So thank you very much. Good yeah. luck with your uh, projects. Yeah, we've been, uh, we teamed up with sendthevote.com to uh, get awareness going, leading up oh, to the big great. day. So I know the Nelk boys are doing the same thing too. Oh, they're uh, great. I know you I'll love those you, boys. They, oh, they're great. <laughs> 
those guys are great. Well, good luck. Yeah, just it. trying to get people to register, you pledge look, their vote. You look like you're better than a five. <laughs> I need to get there, so. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, good luck. It was great, great today, sir. Great honor, fellas. <laughs>